when it comes to to traffic, um, you know, and, and specifically if you're going to be buying and spending money, um, you know, to you know to convert high ticket clients, and because that's really like what we specialize in in the webinar space. So most of the clients that we work with, they sell. Um, you know, high ticket products, right? So high ticket being anywhere from like a thousand to three thousand dollars, mm-hmm. um, or they're uh, running a application funnel where we're still running to a webinar, but as opposed to a direct sale, the call to action is for application. Mm-hmm. Um, but one hundred percent, the focus should always be the offer because ultimately, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, what your traffic source is, and even if you don't do traffic right in terms of like targeting and messaging if you have a a good offer and the offer converts like you can make the traffic work Mm -hmm. and i I think a lot of times you know uh, especially when people who are you know kind of coming into the space they don't really spend the time on an offer and especially as an agency i've I've worked with so many people and they want to make all of these changes as as opposed to the offer i'm like all of that stuff is nice and pretty but until your offer is dialed in and it's and it's converting at, at a certain conversion rate to where you can at least break even on the front end, mm-hmm. then all that other stuff is irrelevant. Yeah. So, you know, I, I tell people, focus on your offer. Your first objective um, with your webinar, specifically if you're selling a digital product, is get to break even. Because you can if you can at least acquire customers at zero cost then you can definitely get into profitability, you know, with it, once you properly optimize and you, you know, find different ways to increase your overall uh, customer value. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's definitely all about the offer. Um, with the high ticket funnels, when you're selling more, so coaching and consulting, um, you have a little bit more leeway in that um, you can afford to spend more to acquire customers because, you know, most of my clients specifically who are selling, those type of programs are charging a minimum of five grand upwards uh, to thirty thousand dollars. So you know, versus if you're selling a digital product for only a thousand dollars, you know, you can only spend a thousand dollars to get to break even. Well, you know, technically, I could spend two thousand dollars and still be in profitability mm-hmm. on a five thousand dollar offer to acquire that that customer. So yeah, it just like depends. On- yeah, when you're trying to break even like that and get like say a high ticket, you know, say a three thousand dollar offer to convert, do you have like any kind of thing or an offer before that, or is it all just going straight to that webinar? Straight to webinar, mm-hmm. just 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 straight straight to webinar, right? Um, so you know, we generally just run ads. So obviously, we have a sequence of how we put together the ad structure, right? So we have you know prospecting, you know, which is really mainly top of funnel, cold traffic, and then you know, middle funnel. So middle funnel would be, you know, people who have, um, you know, maybe uh, registered, but they didn't attend. So, you know, obviously we'll have messaging to drop people back to like a replay and then like bottom of funnel you know, campaigns focusing primarily on people who um, attended, but, you know, they didn't purchase, you know, and driving those individuals back. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, we, we focus primarily um, on, um, on getting all of that top of funnel traffic to convert, right? Mm -hmm. So there's certain key metrics that we like to focus on, right? So um, first thing we do is really determine on what type of budget do we need to allocate to get enough statistically valid data to say that, hey, this webinar works or this webinar doesn't work. You know, so I would say minimum of at least, you know, 200 people on a webinar initially to actually, and when I say 200 people, I mean registrations, but to actually watch the webinar to get some initial feedback as to, you know, how well this webinar performs or not. So if I'm running a, um, a live webinar initially, so because if it's a new offer and it's not proven, you may have to do a few iteration, iterations of it to really get it dialed in. Mm-hmm. So, so when we run that, we'll say, okay, well, we're at a $3,000 price point. We need to reverse engineer and see, okay, how many people do we need to get on here? And how much money do we need to spend initially for uh, to get some to get that uh, to get that initial amount of data, right? And depending mm-hmm. on what type of funds you have available, um, that's gonna that's going to determine how fast you can go, right? So if we want to do this within a week, because anytime we're doing live uh, webinars, um, we don't we don't run ads no further than five days out. And, you know, any, mm-hmm. any, anything further than that, like your show up rate is going to just really, really bomb. So the maximum is around five, five days out. Right. So if yeah. my goal is to put at least 
um, 200 people on, I, I know in most niches, we should be able to get registrations around $10. So that's kind of like a baseline threshold. Um, mm -hmm. And then, you know, a minimum show up rate of around 25%, right? Mm -hmm. So in that particular scenario, you know, uh, to get a live attendee, is gonna cost me around $40. Mm -hmm. So in that particular scenario, I'm gonna spend $8,000 to get 200 live attendees to that webinar. Now, because it's a $3,000 price point, you know, in order for me to get to break even, I really only need to convert at 3% mm -hmm. at, uh, a minimum, right? not even really 3%. I really need to convert at, let's see, uh, one, two, because if we're doing two, if we have 200 people, then, you know, 1% would be two sales at 6,000. So 2%. Um, would get us in technically that would get us into profitability. Profit, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so if we're at a 2% conversion rate, then I know, okay, we, we got some legs with this thing. We can go and, you know, and 2% seems low, but for a $3,000 offer to cold traffic, like that's actually pretty decent. And, and I just breaking even, right? Like that's yeah, your first goal. That's the first goal. Right. Yeah. And then from there, it's just, you know, getting feedback, um, seeing what objections come up. Uh, on, you know, on the webinar. So that way we can overcome those objections in the webinar. Um, mm -hmm. Seeing, you know, like the, the offer stack, like, you know, are people like taking up, the, taking up the offer? How can we improve upon that? And over a few iterations, you can jump, you can get that 2% to 4%, right? Mm -hmm. So, and then from there, then now we can take it and now we can take it evergreen because we know the cold traffic, after running the cold traffic, we're having a consistent conversion rate of 4% on a $3,000, on a $3,000 offer. So I already know for, you know, for every, you know, hundred people that I put on the webinar, if it costs me, you know, $4,000, I'm going to generate 12,000. So I'll, you know, I'll do a three row ass um, mm -hmm. on that particular webinar, you know, and that's really good for cold traffic. Yeah. And, and 2% off of 200 people. That's, I mean, it's only four people. So you really only need, so out of 200 people showing up, you really only need four people to buy, which doesn't sound like that big of a number when you say it like that. But I think, I think what, like where, where I'm sort of hung up is like, is on the pricing. Cause you know, the, the sort of common wisdom is like more of an Ascension model, right? You got like the, the trip wire to get them in the thing at like $10 and then I send them up to like a $99 product. And then maybe you're going for like the higher ticket stuff, but it sounds like you're getting them on a webinar and just going right for it. So I, my philosophy is that I rather get the low hanging fruit and I, my approach is more of a, a descension model as opposed to an ascension model. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think as long as you have a offer that can really add value is transformational and, and people, the value proposition is like a no brainer to where of course I'll spend $3,000 because is going to yield this result. I'll be able to make $30,000 or whatever sure. the case may be. If the value proposition is there, mm -hmm. the number is never the issue. The problem is, is most people have a, have a challenge conveying the value proposition to justify the price point. So, you know, they want to take people through this ascension process where they warm them up, they build relationships, they build rapport. And not to say that doesn't work because people build multi-million dollar, billion dollar companies with that model. I think that model absolutely works. It's just a much longer process and it's going to cost you a lot more money to really dial that in, right? Because yeah. in order to do $12,000 off of a, a $97 product, you got to sell a hell of a lot more um, uh, customers as opposed to, you know, four customers, right? So right. if I'm doing a good job in terms of my creative um, and messaging and in my targeting and my ads, you know, I'd rather have four of the right customers than, you know, 200, you know, low ticket customers that may never buy a $3,000 thing. So that's just my personal yep. philosophy and approach. You know, there's a, a million ways to skin a cat, um, you know, especially in the online, you know, marketing space. But I found that most effective, especially when you're spending money on traffic. If you're spending money on ads, the more money you can spend to acquire a customer, the better. I can outspend you. If me and you are going after the same, you know, the same type of people, um, you know, some of the same interests, the same target, you know, I'm going to blow, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat you in, in the, uh, I'm going to beat you in the auction every day because I can spend way more money to acquire that customer than you can. So,